So welcome back guys. Last time we left off, we had an issue with our suspension. So the first thing I want to do is see if we can get this thing to lift back up to the proper level. I honestly thought this was going to be a simple task, just by bleeding out the system, getting it to rise back up, and we would be good to go. But boy, was I wrong about this. Well guys, it's been a few frustrating weeks working on this car because every time I fix something, I find something else that needs to be fixed. But that is the story with these older cars. You gotta go into it knowing that. Now with that said, you can see the car is way up in the air. The pump is working. Uh, the valve is now bled, but we have a major leak. And I think that is why we had an issue with the suspension in the first place. And the reason why it's all the way up right now is because we don't have that linkage hooked up and I believe it's the pressure is, is shooting it up because every time I open up the hood, I can see our uh, level adjuster is way up and it's going up even higher right now. So with that said, I think our valve body has a leak in it, unfortunately. I'm gonna try to figure out where the leak's coming from. Maybe it just needs to be tightened. Maybe there's a potent seal, but we do have a good valve body, I believe, on our parts car. So let's go ahead and dive back into it. I think I'm going to try to resolve this. If not, we're going to go ahead and just dive into cleaning it and we'll come back to this on another episode. Well, overnight it decided to bleed its guts out and slam back down to the ground. And I decided to do some research because I said, we've gone this far. Let's go ahead and see what we can do to repair it. We have a parts car and maybe we can pull apart to fix this hydraulic system. I don't know a whole lot about it. I got online, saw it was a very expensive to rebuild these, but I said, you know what? Fingers crossed, let's take a risk. We'll swap out the valve block from our parts car. And that's what this is right here. And I had no clue. I didn't know a whole lot about this system. And all I see is a mess. I don't know if you can see that of hydraulic lines going into the system. And apparently this is on the back side of it. And this is what's leaking. And this is mounted from the front side of that distributor is what they call it. Um, with some Allen key bolts. So you get four of them that go, I think one, two, three, four, and you can access them. It's not the easiest. You do have to kind of squeeze your hands up in there. Fortunately, our alternator is out of the parts car. So it was a lot easier. And then there's a couple of bolts that are nuts that are holding uh, the front of this on our distributor on the valve distributor. And you can loosen those up and pull it forward and slide this out. And hopefully we can slide this one back and bolt it up and we'll be good to go. So let's get started on that. I'm not going to show a whole lot of it because it's a very tight area. Going to get this car jacked up, get under there, pull it out. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this resolves our issue. So at this point, I figured I had the suspension fixed. So let's move on to bleeding out this brake system. I pretty much had no brakes, so I decided let's go ahead and flush the whole system. We'll start with the back, we'll move up front, and I thought let's go ahead and use this pressure bleeder because it's a very simple system and allows you to bleed the entire system with one person. Little did I know how much air would be in this entire system. I gotta admit, I was absolutely blown away with how much air was in here.
Well guys, I'm gonna have to cut the video off here. I know it's probably gonna be a very short video by the time I'm done editing out this, but it's been weeks of me trying to get not only the suspension going, but now the brakes going and a bunch of other things. I'm gonna have to cut through a lot of that, but I wanted to give you guys the reality of getting one of these classic Mercedes working again, especially when that's been sitting forever. If I had to throw these parts in there, it would have been very, very expensive. Luckily, I had my parts car. I was able to kind of troubleshoot using that, and I have a lot of people that support in this community that support these cars so i was able to keep going back and forth with them with that said uh after bleeding the brakes i put the car back down and it is once again slammed and i'm not sure why the uh the system's not leaking it doesn't seem like it's leaking and i'm wondering if just by putting it up in the air mess with it so i'm gonna try to bleed it out once again see if i can get it to raise back up uh, it looks like all the fluid is in the reservoir and uh, after I got done bleeding these brakes out, there was an insane amount of air. I don't know if you guys saw a lot of that, but um, it just kept, air just kept coming out and out and out. And I never uh, even got any fluid to come out the rear yet. So I'm gonna spend uh, some time on this. I just think there's an insane amount of air in these lines. I'm gonna have to keep adding fluid. I wanna flush it completely out. I want these brakes to work really, really good. So I didn't wanna spend the rest of this video doing all of this stuff because uh, I want to do another video very quickly uh, that I'll probably lead right after this where we're going to be doing a detail on the exterior interior. Um, I just want to show you how this car can look. Now, once again, if you're ever looking at getting into a project like this, know that it's going to be a lot of work, probably a lot of money and a lot of headaches. But at the end of the day, if you do get something like this back on the road working again, it, it's going to be an amazing feeling and an amazing car. These cars are quite amazing cars. I've had this one now for a few years and got to drive it uh, an entire year and it was just great. It was a very enjoyable car. Uh, the convertible top on here goes down in the summertime, uh, actually here in the wintertime because uh, we hit about 60. Like right now it's in the 80s almost and earlier today it was in the 60s. So beautiful day for a convertible. Uh, but with all that said, thank you guys for hanging in there with me. Sorry to cut this short, but I just want to do a lot of this stuff off camera. It's a lot of just tedious things and I want to jump right to getting the detailing done on this. You guys have an awesome day, a blessed week, and I'll fill you guys in on the next video.